Hey men, welcome back to the Order Man YouTube channel. I'm glad that you're here visiting with us today. I hope that you've enjoyed the videos up to this point. I know that you're gonna enjoy this video today and I really, really encourage you to stick all the way through because what we're talking about is so, so important. The topic that we're going to address today has the ability to destroy your chance for success as a man. And it has the ability to frustrate you, to discourage you, to make you resentful, to put you in a state of despair, and in even some cases make you very, very upset and angry. And what I'm talking about today is this idea of comparison, of keeping up with the Joneses. And I want to talk about why it is so detrimental to your success. Now the problem is, and this isn't necessarily a problem, but as a man, we want to be successful. We're motivated, we're ambitious, and we want to have all the successes in life. And that's a great thing. You should want those things. But the problem comes when we start comparing ourselves to what other men are doing. We start comparing ourselves to their level of fitness, or their bank account, or their businesses, or their relationships. And what happens is we actually end up comparing our the beginning of our journey, whatever journey that may be, to another man's middle of his journey or even the end of his journey. And I'll give you an example. When I started this blog and this podcast and YouTube channel at Order of Man, what I did is I looked around and I saw that there was other men having a lot of success in the same area that I wanted to get into. There's guys out there that are doing things very similar to what I was doing and they're having tremendous success. But rather than motivating me and making me ambitious and believing that I could be at the same level, it actually did the exact opposite. It discouraged me. It frustrated me. It made me upset that I didn't think that I would be able to be in the same position or get to where they were. And I love this quote by Albert Einstein. He says, everybody's a genius, but if you judge a fish by his ability to climb a tree, it will believe its whole life that it is stupid. And this is what you need to do. Instead of focusing on what other men are doing, what other successes they're having, it's time for you to focus and create some strategies and goals around what's important to you. And so I wanna talk about goals and I wanna talk about strategies. And I wanna give you a little bit of different spin. Goals, I don't think, are as important as most people make them out to be. Now, I don't want you to think that I don't think having priorities and goals and ambitions in life aren't important. But what's more important, and what I think men overlook most of the time, is the strategy. It's the ways to accomplish that actual goal. And so, for example, when I started wanting to be a little bit more fit, I've literally lost 50 pounds over the last year and a half, but it wasn't because I said I wanted to lose 50 pounds because I had done that in the past and it didn't work. The reason that it actually worked this time is rather than my goal of losing 50 pounds, my goal was to go to the gym five days a week. And I've done that about 90% of the time for the past year and a half, and lo and behold, 50 pounds is what I've lost. I'm a lot healthier. Same thing with my bank account and my wealth. Rather than focusing on, I wanna have X amount of dollars, or I wanna have quote unquote financial freedom, I started focusing on the things that I can control. The things that were within my control, like saving money, paying off debt, and doing it very, very consistently. So I want you to think about the strategies that are important to you. The other thing I want to address is this idea and this concept of external motivation versus internal motivation. Now I was talking with my wife as I was preparing for this video and I said that I was going to be talking about comparing ourselves to other men. And she said, I could see both sides of that. Sometimes I could see why that's not good and other times I could see why comparing yourself to somebody else might give you the drive needed to succeed. And I'm going to disagree with that. There's two types of motivation. I had mentioned it before, external and internal. External motivation is when you look around and maybe it's somebody else, maybe it's something else that's causing you to continue, that's causing you to want to go. The problem is, is those things have a tendency to go away. They have a tendency to fade. They have a tendency to change. And I want to have you focus, and when I started focusing on internal motivation, why is it that I want the things that I want? Why is it that I want a big bank account? And for me, it's all about empowerment. Why is it that I want to be healthier? For me, it's all about enjoying as much time as possible as I can with my children. And those things come from within inside. And so when you find the internal motivations, the things that you're passionate about, 
it will begin to be less and less important what the guys around you are doing and you'll be able to focus on what's important to you. So I'm gonna give you some action steps today. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to find out what it is that's driving you, what it is that gets you out of bed, what it is that you're excited about every day and focus on those things. And rather than create a goal, this is step two of the action steps, rather than create and focus solely on the goal of getting to that point, I want you to come up with three action steps that you can do on a daily basis to help you get to the point that you want to be in that category. And the third action strategy is I want you to tune out. I just want you to tune out from what everybody around you is doing. Tune out of social media, tune out of the TV, tune out of your neighbors if you have to, but turn those things off where you find yourself comparing yourself to other men because it's not in your best interest to do so. So I hope that's helped. Let's get out of this comparison trap when we find out what's important to us and we focus on those things and we forget about what's going on around us, you will live a much more happy and fulfilled life. So I hope you've enjoyed the message. Guys, it's time to become the men we were meant to be.